What's up everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, walkthrough and a little review of this budget kayak that I got and show you my setup. Just a kayak on a budget setup that won't cost you, you know, a thousand bucks for a kayak. So this is my setup. It's a 12 foot Equinox, uh, I believe the Angler 12. Nothing too crazy or special, you know, just a more cheap, lower end kayak. It's a 12 foot kayak and it is 30 inch wide. It's not a very wide kayak, um, but it works fine for me. This kayak is not a uh, kayak where you would stand on, so if you're looking for a kayak where you where <clears throat> if you're looking for a kayak that you can stand on you may want to look in a kayak that's a lot more wider so it's stable enough to stand on but to be honest a kayak uh, this kayak is 30 inch wide and for 30 inch wide this kayak is pretty stable for for that width so I'm pretty satisfied with it I don't plan on fishing standing up on a kayak anyways like I uh, stated before, if I'm gonna fish, if, if I want to fish and be able to stand and cast and fish, I would rather just fish in my boat. So I just wanted a little, you know, setup, cheap setup that won't break my bank account and uh, be able to target smaller, skinnier water. So, all right, let's get to what I've done to the pack so far. So, starting at the front of this kayak, uh, it's got the storage compartment here. This is where I put my PFD, and it goes all the way in there. It's got, you know, pretty decent amount of storage here, actually. I just got a little bag here for my registration for my kayak, since it is a 12-foot kayak, and my fishing license that I put in here. Uh, plenty of space. Got my PFD. I got a rain coat in there, a rain jacket in there. Pretty much, <clears throat> it's a decent size storage. That's where I sit. Got some scupper plugs for these holes if I don't want to get too soaked in water. But during the summertime, I don't really mind. I wear Crocs or sandals anyways. I put in a stadium seat here. It's just something I picked up from Walmart. Uh, it's not your luxury comfortable seat, but it is better than just, you know, sitting in the stock uh, seating that it comes from. So it is an upgrade from the original seating. But this, I picked it up for 12 bucks. And basically it just sits you know, right on top of the sides, and then I just zip tied and tied some cords to this. Well, this thing doesn't go anywhere, it's pretty sturdy here, so that makes fishing a lot more comfortable. I did get a longer paddle, I believe this is the uh, I want to say 250 centimeter, I believe. Works a lot better now that I'm sitting up higher. Let's see. I got a storage, a dry storage here that this is where I put my keys and my wallet. Two cup holders, a little tray where I just you know, kind of throw my jigs, my whatever I use for that day. Got my phone right here that I use to set here. And underneath here, my two, two tethers I got. I got some pliers for in case whenever I catch northerns or stuff like that. And I got these line cutters that are tethered to this so I won't ever lose it. And it retracts. And it's got LED lights. So, best line cutters out there. Let's see here. Let's go to 
to this side of the kayak. I do have an anchor trolley system going on here. Again, nothing fancy, just cheap. Um, like I said, I'm trying to have this set up be, you know, kind of a budget where, you know, anybody who's interested in a a budget kayak that gets you on the water and gets you fishing, this is how my budget kayak is set up. But this is my anchor trolley. Got my ring here. Could anchor and move it up to the front. Or I could move it back towards the back of the kayak here. So kayak fishing definitely needs you know some kind of anchor trawler system it's it's one of the best things to have on a kayak in my opinion right, let's see here. got two flush rod holders on this one I just kind of put my net usually it's on this side and then I got a crate with three rod holders here so and then I got inside the crate I got a bin where I store my tackle bug spray whatever I'm using or going after that day bags of plastic uh, so whenever I want to switch out you know I could just I could just take this bin out so because I do fish on my boat too so Sometimes it gets annoying if I have to take everything out, but that little bin does help. And then I got my dive reel uh, set up for my anchor. And this here is a dive reel. I have to toss it in the water, attach to my anchor. I got a clip here. So I could just clip to it. my anchor. So I got a I got a heavier anchor. It's a seven pound anchor. Usually I just go with the smaller one. It usually does the job. It's only one and a half pound anchor. And I tied some loops here on both of them. So I could switch on my anchor easily if I wanted to with this clip here. So usually I use the one and a half anchor or one and a half pound anchor and it, it holds pretty good. The other day I was out in 18 miles per hour wind and it kept me in place. But just in case, you know, if I needed something heavier, I have that seven pound anchor. So, then this rope, I got a float on there, so whenever I go out, I usually I just clip into this. Like that. I'll take this. And the cool thing about the dive reel is, you know, once you're anchor, you can just press on the lever and it, it drops down. And then whenever I'm done, I could actually just reel all my anchor line back into this. So, throw back over here and keep fishing. So that's a pretty neat setup for anchor system. So, this is where I usually put my anchor or I put a cooler right there in that little space there. Another important thing that I have is this kayak dolly. It's the Sea Tug kayak canoe dolly, and this thing is perfect for my setup. Um, it's got nice wheels. I can pretty much go anywhere with these. And the best part of it is that it it, it literally collapsed, and I could uh, drag my kayak out, and I could collapse it and literally store it either in my storage. Uh, compartment on my kayak or throw it in the back you know the kayak of the crate and this thing comes apart the wheels comes off you know everything comes apart I'll show you guys it's pretty neat um, it does retail for like hundred fifty dollars I believe um, but I was able to find it you know on Facebook marketplace for 40 bucks so it was a pretty good steal for me and I'll show you guys how I take it apart and Stow it away. All right, so this the sea tug kayak dolly. Let's say I got my kayak to wherever I want, and I'm about to get on the water. So all I gotta do is take this things up, take this dolly apart. 
and literally these two comes apart just like that all right so now all you got is this and the tires and the tires got this little lock clip here all you got to do is push that lock out pull the wheel off do the same thing to the other side just this clip and that's it and it's a part then I could either you know take my wheels put in my storage compartment to support look at that just like that my whole kayak dolly is in my storage compartment on my kayak and I'm ready to go fishing it's good to go and then I would get on the water pretty neat that's the best thing about that kayak dolly but yeah this is my budget kayak setup and my thoughts on this kayak you know for the price that i pay for this it's definitely worth worth my money i didn't have to break the bank uh, it gets me into skinny water and you know small ponds and lakes that boats can't get into so it does the job i do catch you know big fish on this little kayak so very pleased with it um like I said, if you're looking for a kayak that you can stand on, this may not be the kayak for you. Uh, that's the only downfall in this kayak that I see. But other than that, like I said, for a 30 inch wide kayak, it's pretty stable. Like I, I could sit on my seat and dangle, you know, both my legs on one side and I don't flip the kayak. So it's pretty stable for 30 inch. And it tracks pretty well. Uh, paddling on this kayak is pretty easy. You know, I could go on a whole day trip and paddle all day, and I don't feel you know. I come back home and I don't feel like my arms are about to fall off. So, for you know, a kayak under four hundred dollars, around the three hundred fifty dollar mark, it's a good kayak. But yep, that's my thought on it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.